Alright, what's up everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Vigor video. As per request from quite a few of you, I'm making a video discussing what you should and should not deconstruct here in Vigor, especially for those of you that are in the early game, and you might need to get your hands on some resources to craft up some better items. I will be discussing both the weapons and consumables. We're going to go ahead and start off with the weapons. In no particular order, first and foremost, knives all of them the common ones all the way up to the special issue one the john scrap them unfortunately the knives are just not good it takes a good three to four hits on another outlander to kill them and that's without body armor and it is going to be insanely rare that you will get the opportunity to hit another outlander three to four times before they just simply turn around and shoot you and kill you it's not worth the struggle or the hassle until they buff these things. And yes, I know the John has higher base damage. It's still three to four hits unless you get really, really lucky. Now, and I wanted to actually say one other thing. I'm not trying to change your mind with any of these weapons. If I say and I mention one and recommend that you scrap it, if you really like it, keep it. I am not trying to change your mind. These are just my personal recommendations. Next up, LMGs. I know it's a little bit of a controversial one. I'll explain in a moment. But before I do that, I am not referring to the RPK, RPK-74, or the, I always forget the name of it. I'm going to show you in just a moment here. The ZA-M72. And the reason why I'm not including these is because they, for the most part, function like an assault rifle and are quite easy to use. I am referring to the UKVZ, the PKM, M249B, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, the machine gear, the green one. And the reason why I recommend deleting these is because they are very hard to control. The reticle bloom spread gets very wide. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it's your crosshair. The longer you hold down the trigger, the more you're firing. The wider your crosshair gets, the more inaccurate the weapon becomes. The harder it becomes to control, the less likely you are to kill your target, let alone even hit them. So, for me, they're a scrap. I know some people that absolutely swear by them. But for the most part, uh, they're just not that great, unfortunately. So hopefully they will get a buff in the future. So they're on my scrap list. Next up. The KS-23 shotgun, and we're going to continue to scroll here because there's another one that goes with it. The sawed off. Get rid of them. Why? The Silver Pigeon and the IZH have much more range, and they're just all around just a little bit more powerful, a little bit more, a little bit better due to the fact that they do have that extra range. Why sacrifice that? And on top of that. Silver Pigeon and the IZH are common weapons, which means they are much cheaper to craft, and it takes a lot less time to craft. I just don't see the point in the other two. From there, pistols. And again, I'm referring to your common pistols. I am not talking about the Combat Revolver or the SWSH-629. I'm not talking about those hand cannons. Yes, I'm a Destiny player. Uh, I'm talking about the PM, or the M1911, and the Luger. And it's not that they are bad weapons, but they're very common. No pun intended. You can find them in pretty much every encounter. You'll at least find a couple of them. They're easy to acquire. They're cheap to craft. And once you get your hands on some rifles, assault rifles, and SMGs, heck, even sniper rifles, you really don't need them. So go ahead and scrap them. From there, the crossbow. It's such a cool weapon in theory, but the crossbow is unfortunately just not that good. And I know some of you might be looking at the base damage going, dang, 75? That's not too bad. No, if you are right on top of the other person that you're trying to shoot and you get a good lucky headshot, yeah, you'll kill them in one hit, but typically it's two to three hits. And depending on the range, it could be even more than that. With the slow reload speed on top of the weapon not being so great and taking multiple hits, uh, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. 
until they give it some sort of a buff or they work it around and tweak it a bit in some way, shape, or form, I would just say scrap it. Moving on over to consumables. The transmitter, I would scrap. Iodine, I would scrap. Fake glint, jammer, alarm traps, I would scrap all of them. Maybe even some of the booby traps, but they can be quite useful. Now, that's not to say that these things are not good and they are not useful, because that's really not the case. You can do some really, really fun things with these uh, different consumables here. You know, if you want to trick your opponents, use the transmitter. If somebody uses signal detector, they won't be able to tell the difference between you and your transmitter. But how often are you going to do that, especially in the early game? early game your goal is typically to get enough resources to upgrade your shelter to be able to craft better weapons and better consumables not really to mess around and you know goof around a little bit in the the encounter so for me get rid of them decoy I think is great so I would keep that and of course you need your healing items iodine it's good in a pinch and if you're a tryhard and I don't mean that in an insulting way if you're going for kills and you plan on staying into the encounters late, like when radiation is hitting, yeah, you're going to need these and they're going to come in handy. And it's not that they're really a bad consumable, they're just more of a somewhat irrelevant one. And if you dismantle them, you get roughly 3,000 materials just for one. So again, for those of you that are just starting out, just break these things down. They're really not that great. They're expensive to craft, especially until you level up your crafting bench. And they take quite a, f a while to craft as well. A couple hours, I think it is. The Fate Glint. Again, something to kind of troll your opponents. I set up a bunch of these up in Deberg Forest, up on one of the mountainsides there, the ridges, just to kind of troll people so that they thought snipers were camping. And it's fun to mess around like that, but for the most part, I don't use these. Break them down. Same thing with the jammer. They're very loud. Typically, most people can recognize the sound if they're within range of a jammer. They know that that's what it is. They're just going to find it and break it down. Really no need for them. Alarm traps, same thing. Now, again, these can be used great, and I'm going to give you an example. Say you get a good spawn, and you're near signal detector, or you are near bard house, and you don't feel like rushing either one of them because you're not too sure if anybody else is around. These are great to set up to get the drop on your opponent. But other than that, you kind of don't really need them either. So go ahead and scrap them. Booby traps, again, the same thing. If you want to try to plan ahead and beat your opponent to certain things and you want to kind of catch them off guard, that if you put these on one of the blue lock boxes or something like that, where it's going to take the other person a bit of a minute to unlock and open, giving you time to get the jump on them. Again, it's great for that. But if you don't plan on doing any of those things, just delete them and get yourself some materials. So, But there you have it. Those are the weapons and consumables that I recommend you deleting here in Vigor. I will say this. Keep one or two of each at least, even if you don't think that you'll ever use them. And the reason why I am suggesting this is if those items ever get a buff or if they ever get reworked, you might want to have a couple on hand just to try in case you like the changes that have been made to them. But other than that, feel free to get rid of whatever it is you don't think you're going to use. So there you have it, guys. That is it for me. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more Vigor content. And don't forget that you can always follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. Other than that, I will see you all very soon in the next video.